Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that is in honor of my friend Tony, who will be leaving in a few short days for Italy. Uh, today's beer is not only an Italian beer, but it is also a IPA, which is Tony's favorite style. So, uh, as soon as I show you the bottle, I know a lot of you are going to go, Oh yeah, I remember that. And the truth of the matter is I bought this on clearance, so probably was past its freshness date, but uh, <laughs> there went the kitty. Thank you very much, kitty. But this is the schizoid, and I say schizoid because it's not spelled the way that the English would and pronounce it schizoid. Uh, Taco Mato is the name of the uh, brewer, and those of you, I, I'm sure you've seen that on Instagram or Tumblr or uh, Untapped, any number of other beer blog and beer uh, app locales. Um, this has a 6.2 uh, ABV, which makes it kind of on the low end for uh, an IPA. It is 25.4 ounces, and I paid uh, $4.99 for this, and admittedly, um, you know, when, when, the, when it's half price, you have to figure that it's probably past its prime, but uh, I did see it. It is one of the bargains, and I have... Uh, uh, as I understand that it, it, well, okay, it, it actually makes the statement here, uh, bottle condition, top fermented. So um, I have heard from other people that, uh, or I've seen at least on some of the reviews uh, here on YouTube, as well as some of the Instagram reviews and whatnot, that, um, that there's sort of a belief that this could actually be allowed to age and it would be okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, there it is one more time, the Screaming Hop. And Taco Mato, I'm probably horribly mispronouncing that. And so let's uh, let's just dig right into it, shall we? I'm gonna be using my pop the top opener from Taza Designs. Oh, and it was at Lee's actually. I forgot to mention that, but I, I paid. Uh, I did say I paid 4.99, but it was at Lee's in Boca Park where I paid that 4.99. This has got one of those wide necks at the top, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use my Pop the top opener. Okay, gonna have to pause this and come back. And I'm back with a bottle opener that I hope uh, this time will work. It's from, uh, it's the Beauregard Blueberry Sour Ale from College Street Brewery. College Street, the one thing you messed up on here is you didn't put your name on the opener. But anyway, I'm uh, gonna be using this opener to crack open this bad boy. Whoa! Okay, so there we have the first opening, and man, is that alcohol smell coming through. Wow, is it coming through. Okay, yes, indeedy. Got that on me, got it on the patio floor. Looking good. Okay, so uh, as I said, initially I'm just hit with an overwhelming alcohol smell. Um, since I am outside, I'm going to pour a little of this out, try to get rid of some of this foam, maybe. There we go. Um, which comes right back. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Man, is this alcohol smelling, but I can also smell that hot profile, so let's just gingerly pour this. All right, still coming down the side. Gonna have to wash this shirt. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so here it is. It is uh, definitely high carbonation. I wanna show you, get my fingers out of the way. Um, very hazy, uh, and it's almost a, a rust color. Let's see if we can add a little bit more to the glass now that it's had some time to settle. Okay, so yeah, that's that's not, as usual, the camera's not quite doing it justice to the color. Um, this is honestly a more orange color, uh, kind of close to carrot color, actually. And uh, now that it's opened and the alcohol has burned away, even more than hops, I smell uh, citrus, um, like grapefruit. Well, I mean, of course, citrus rops. Hops smell like 
like grapefruit. I get that, but it doesn't smell like um, it doesn't smell grapefruit like grapefruit hop. It smells like actual grapefruit. <sighs> Getting a combination of grapefruit and caramel, so it's like citrus and caramel kind of blending together in this sweet mixture. And uh, anyway, I, I think I've pontificated about this long enough, and I poured enough of it on myself. So let's get right to it. Cheers. Hmm. It leaves like this gritty feeling in my mouth. Oh. Not impressed with that. Um, maybe, you know, it's, like I said, I anticipated it was past its, its, its best by date. When you pay half price for something, you got to figure that it is. And maybe that's the problem with that. Um, I'm not fond of that beer, and I'm probably not even going to finish it. Uh, I noticed on on uh, uh, none of my friends have checked into uh, this beer on Untapped, and uh, when I went to Beer Advocate to look at it, um, it was pretty much averaging between three and four uh, on the scale, which is not and much to write home about. Gonna give it a low mouth feel. Just it, it just leaves this chalky feeling in your in your mouth. Um, the flavor beyond that is a little sweet. I'm not tasting a whole lot of hop. Um, honestly, chestnuts are what come through mostly on the flavor. Mm, I'm gonna give it a medium low mouth feel instead of a low. Now that I think about it. It does have a little bit of spikiness left over, but eh, this is nothing to write home about. Maybe if this was on tap, it'd be better. Maybe if I'd gotten the bottle right after it was uh, out, it'd be better. But all in all, not overly impressed with this. So anyway, if uh, if you've had a bottle of this and you've had it, you know, very recently after it first arrived at the store, let me know. I'd love to hear about how uh, a fresh bottle might taste comparatively. Um, and like I said, this the rest of this one is, is going down the drain. So uh, I'm probably going to give it, uh, I'm probably going to give it a, a 2.75. I mean, there's nothing specifically wrong with it, but I just, I don't want to drink any more of it. So anyway, that was a $5 venture. And, you know, I like to keep beers in around two bucks for every once and again, you got to spend money. Like I said, if you got to, if you're going to participate in the hobby, you got to spend money sometimes. This is one of those times when I did and probably would have done better to take the same five bucks and buy a couple of uh, uh, $2 cans, but excuse me, you live and you learn, and um, this was not particularly impressive. I'm sorry, Tony. I wish it was a better uh, beer to send you off to Venice, and we wish you well and safe travels, and I expect to see one of those wonderful uh, uh, wooden crates full of straw full of, and, it, and just bottles and bottles of beer that you found in Italy and France and, and everywhere else around the Alps range. So until next time, drink good beer. This ain't it. And cheers. Drink good beer. Don't break the budget. And cheers.